before you fly, I will teach you how to You fly. can't afford not to innovate. You can't afford not to be in this space because it's potentially one of the most transformative forms of storytelling we might have. And if you're wrong and you're in late, you'll never catch up. It's a really exciting space that we're discovering what works, what doesn't work, new rules, old rules from old media do not apply. Um, so it's a really exciting creative space. Maybe most exciting since moving pictures. What's the most important thing to learn when you jump into this VR scene? Um, when you jump in, the, the, the thing to remember, most important I think is to remember that the audience is jumping in with their, with their body, you know, and, and, and it is an experience and they need time to interact with the place you've just put them. Um, in 2D linear filmmaking, the average time of a cut is five seconds now. It's like boom, boom, boom. You move the camera around in a, in a very linear fashion. But in this environment, you have to be much more collaborative with the audience, with the viewer, about what they're going to explore and how you give them clues to explore um, what you think is most important with audio, with directional sound. So it's more 10 seconds or 15? I think that's a, that's a better minimum. I, I think that the 10 to 15 is more of a minimum shot length in this space, it seems right now. In TV, we know these storyteller, these narrator voices mostly. Do you think this is the way to tell stories in VR? I think a, um, a narrative voice is really effective. Whether that voice is organic to the story um, or that voice is an expert outside, like a broadcast a journalist, a voice of authority, um, remains to be seen. I think both of those ways can be effective, but because of that need for context and a little bit of direction, um, I think a, a narrative voice is, is really um, important in this space. It's much more limited, much more difficult to do, much more dependent on taking, transporting, transporting the audience to a place. So not every story has a compelling place to take you to. Ben Solomon of the New York Times had a good quote where he said, uh, uh, gathering video is like hunting. Um, gathering immersive VR is like setting bear traps. It's like a bigger production, much more um, planned, much more thought out in advance, um, can't be as spontaneous. Um, but, you know, we, we've only been doing this uh, a matter of months. But how do you um, tell a story from one place in more than one picture? You do not have these close-up pictures like in traditional web video where you can jump from one to the other picture. How do you solve it? I, I, it? You have to be much more deliberate and thoughtful. I think you can change the camera position. You just can't do it every five seconds. And uh, steady acceleration. It, it, when this, I remember reading about immersive video and one of the rules was, oh, you absolutely can't move the camera. Well, we can move the camera. We just have to use a steady rate of acceleration so that your body can go along with it and you're not uh, feeling like you're on the wrong end of a game of crack the whip with yeah. the camera motion and vibration is bad you have to manage the vibration that'll ruin a shot so it's like we're just learning as we're going along and that's uh, the most creative medium I can think of when there really aren't many rules so do we have uh, the patience to bring it really to an end and not only to have one or two brilliant projects like this snowfall moment in New York Times uh, or now that we have these holy shit moments in VR, um, will it go on? It has and I believe it will and that's why you have to stay in the space, you have to be in the space experimenting, failing, 
finding how you reach audiences, uh, maximizing that audience, and then moving on to the next thing, because there will be a next thing. So it's if uh, if you can't if you can't move forward, you're becoming extinct, and that's really the biggest lesson in media today that the current forms will not be the forms of the future.